buy our eggs uh, from Washington State, fly them down to our hatchery in PEI, where they're hatched, and they're basically in that hatchery for about a year. What we have here is our broodstock tank, and in here we have uh, male and female broodstock that we've just spawned in the last four to six weeks. This particular room can hold up to three million eggs. They come currently from our own uh, broodstock, which we have here on site, which we spawned in the last two weeks of October and into November, and subsequently put the eggs in here then for fertilization and subsequent development. And each tray can hold 10,000 to 12,000 eggs at any one stage, and we would feel comfortable at that level. This stage here is a secondary stage where we take our uh, fertilized eggs, which have now eyed up after about three weeks from the egg room, here into the combi tank room. And we put all of the fertilized eggs in, the, in here and they start to hatch. Well, what's going on here at the present now is there's 30 tanks here in this area. <coughs> and the stage of the fish at the moment is in their fingerling or par stage, which is any size from five grams to about 20 grams. We feed them a diet like this. It's an extruded pellet at the various sizes in relation to the mouth size of the fish. So we'd have a number of different sizes, and it's made from ground-up anchovies, pilchard, sardines, all from sustainable fisheries around the world. It's high in oil and it's high in proteins, but it's more importantly, it's fish for fish. These fish here now would be on a water temperature system of anywhere between 10 and 12 degrees, which gives them a tremendous advantage in their initial feeding and digestion of food and the initial development of the whole flesh itself and the body of the fish itself. We roughly put uh, about 30,000 fish in each cage. Uh, we, we stock them in mid-April to early May at about 100 grams. Scotian halibut has been in operation for 10 years now, and we have a hatchery at Clarks Harbor on Cape Sable Island, and we operate a grow-out facility in Woods Harbor. A grow-out operation, particularly where it pertains to our facility, is one which receives juvenile or pre-adult fish into this facility and raises them to a market size or for brood stock, basically as quickly as possible with high quality feeds and optimum care. It typically takes around four years to raise a halibut from egg stage to a market size where it can be used for human consumption. We sell about 80% in, in Canada and, and about 20% in, in the US, and it's mostly retail. We do well in the summertime. We have a tourist industry here that uh, uh, loves mussels, and, and, and more than a tourist industry, because we used to think we were dependent on a tourist industry, it's the summer people that come and live here that are really our, our good customers, both in our restaurants and also coming right to our little store that we have here. And, and we live in a place here called saint anne de rousseau and we do market our oysters as the Russo oysters, and on every card we put the Russo oysters taste the difference. I believe that what makes the Russo oyster different is the feed that it gets in, in here in Eel Lake, and with all the nutrition that the oyster eats, and then it gets really a full oyster. When you shock the oyster, you see all meat, and when you pop it in your mouth, it has a great taste. Cosgo. Uh, is one of our big buyers, a uh, lot supplied to them. I think some goes to Solby's. They're uh, mainly at Land of Canada is where my fish all go. On the pass side, we have tempura oysters. It's gonna be with the Asian slaw in the oyster shell, tempura oyster on top. Then we're gonna go with uh, the Scotian halibut, that's topped with the uh, kelp meal. Um, mussels on the half shell, polonaise style. Polonaise is breadcrumbs with brown butter and uh, grated eggs. Also again, we have the smoked salmon sushi. We have oysters with double smoked bacon. We have Nova Scotia rainbow trout. Oh, I think it's fantastic. Uh, first of all, it's sustainable. That helps. It's farmed here in Nova Scotia. Sustainable product and I'm really glad to have it here.
Aquaculture will someday feed the world.